belly. Happy. This is Ripley. He talks. You're saying who's hungry? It's a verb of belly happy. How do we get here? Together. We get this question a lot. Yes, we're together. So let's go all the way back to the beginning of our story. The story of Ripley the talking dog. We brought Ripley home when he was eight weeks old. A few days later, we showed him his buttons for the first time, and he immediately did this. Water? Water? Let's go get some! Here it is! Good boy! Then a couple days later... We worked with Ripley every day. Try to use your word. You want to try to use your word? Potty. Okay, yes. Soon we added a third button. You want to use your word? Hey, come here. It didn't take long for Ripley to use it. What are you doing? Play. <gasps> come here, yes. You see, Ripley loves to play. What are you doing? It's really important to be patient in the beginning. The learning process takes time and repetition, so keep modeling those words. Water? Can we get some? Let's go get some. It was here that we decided to move the board into the kitchen. Use your words. Play. Play? Okay, let's play. We also added a fourth button. All done. Fast forward a couple weeks and we added food and bone. Water? Can you use your words? All done, yeah, we're all done. We're all done with exactly what you're doing right now. It's time for what? What do we do next? Food, yes, what a smart boy. Let's go get your food. Ripley was growing and so was his vocabulary. We also used to have some grass in our backyard. By the day he turned three months old, his soundboard had grown a few hex tiles. Uh, daddy, do you love daddy? We added the mommy, daddy, Ripley, and ice buttons. You love me? Oh, thank you. I love you too. Love. This is how it started out. I'll pet you all day. Mommy? Mommy's at work. Ripley and daddy time. Ripley, daddy. Mommy, mommy. Mommy's at work. Mommy? Mommy? Mommy's at work, Ripley. Mommy, mommy. Mommy's at work. It's... Here's another example. What do you do, baby? Do you need to use your words? Water? Do you need to use your words? Mommy time? Mommy? Yes, mommy, please don't attack me. Baby! Hi! Mommy? Yes, mommy! Mommy, yes, that's me! Big celebrations when they make a button press in context. We did more prompting to press the buttons during this time, but Ripley started pressing more on his own. I think he just tried to hit mom. I'm not sure about it. Ripley, use your words. Use your words, buddy. Where are you going? Come on, baby. Use your words. Don't bite me. Ripley? Yes, yes that's you. you. Yes, you're Ripley. We had some issues with space in the spot. We were starting to form a really strong bond. We were always around each other. That's good, isn't it? Dad attempts to get Ripley interested in his buttons. That's when I'll get hurt.
Yes, Ripley. Sometimes it was hard to tell if a press was intentional, but we always presume confidence. Hey, come here. You want to use your word? <laughs> we can play. Your water is right here, too. But we can play and give your toy. Do you need to use your buttons, baby? He hit play with the shark in his mouth. Do you need to use your buttons? Use your words. Mom just got Ripley some food and is getting ready to model it on the board, but Ripley gets there first. Ice was added when Ripley was teething. Got some ice? Hey. Ice. Okay. Ice. Ice. I'll get you ice. I could get you your ice foam too. I don't know if it's frozen right now. Ice foam would be the first of many multiple word phrases. While Ripley was teething, we froze his bone and he seemed to enjoy it. He was getting fluffier and starting to get a little destructive. Did you use your word? We added his 11th and 12th buttons, love you and walk, the day before he turned four months old. <laughs> we love the love you button. Ripley had his first paddleboard ride. He is nervous and unsure at first. Soon he started to get the hang of it. The benefit of being a Florida dog. Hey man, it's not as easy as it looks. In the circle. He was a pro in no time. Even with all the outdoor activity and training, Ripley was becoming a handful. He loved playing chase around the kitchen island. He was a combination of cute and chaos, and we were definitely getting our steps in every day. He seemed to be excited with his buttons, though. Mom just got done cleaning the textiles. Something Ripley started doing early on is taking the buttons and running off with them. Before I forget, the word outside was added as Ripley's 13th button. We added this right as we started going out in the water with Ripley. We learned early on that Ripley could be a little monster. Here he bit mom on accident. 
I turned the volume down here for your benefit, but she's saying something like, Dang, Ripley, that doesn't feel very pleasant. Ah, he quickly made up for it. I love you too, baby. Note, we still have a backyard. Ripley is now five months old. Ripley was starting to grow vertically. Ripley started sleeping near a soundboard during this time, which was also growing. He seemed interested in them from time to time, but keeping Ripley's attention could prove difficult. Yes, 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 yes. This is when mom talked to Ripley through the camera. <laughs> Ripley didn't talk as much this month. Alright, I'm gonna leave you here for a second. Don't tear the house up. But we did add five more buttons. Help, yes, no. Gardens and puzzle became buttons 14 through 18. We were preparing for Hurricane Ian at this time too. We still presumed confidence when Ripley pressed a button, even if we weren't sure if it was on purpose. Can you go potty real quick? Is that a yes? Here. Oh, okay, let's go. Yes. And we modeled the buttons continually. You want to play a puzzle? Here, look. Ripley, Daddy. Ripley, Daddy. Ripley, come here. Daddy, what? Ripley, Daddy, what? I love you. I love you too. Like I said before, we realized that space would be an issue from the moment we moved the board into the kitchen. So we moved it out into the den area behind the couch at the end of month six. We added one more button during this time, the squirrel's button, which would come back to haunt us later. If you know, you know. You're so smart. I love you. We had come incredibly far with Ripley in the first six months, but we had no idea what was about to happen in the next six months. We would make one final change to Ripley's soundboard that would send his vocabulary into the stratosphere. I taught my dog to talk. Hi. Hi, Ripley. People always ask us how we did it. This is my attempt to show you how. This is The Story of Ripley the Talking Dog, Part 2. Where do we leave off? Follow up? We recently moved Ripley's soundboard to right behind the couch in the den. We were still trying to figure out how we wanted to capture our footage. I wonder if it would look better on camera like that. Like what? Water? You want water? I'll get it for you. We were keeping track of all Ripley's button presses in a notebook. We added some buttons when Ripley turned seven months old. Now, later, licky, work, buy, and hmm. These would be buttons 20 through 25. What do you want? Tell me what you want. Okay. You hit lucky. Yep, puzzle lucky. That's exactly what it is. Okay. Now. You want it now? We would add two more buttons, want and brothers, to Ripley's soundboard. Wait, Ripley has brothers? This is Stanley. He's a reactive rescue who is probably around 13 years old. He's a biter sometimes, so we were really careful with him and Ripley. We did months of enrichment activities to prepare for this moment. This is Cooper. He's also a rescue. We were told he was found tied to a fence. Who the heck does that? He's not as reactive, so we had small controlled interactions with him and Ripley. At one point, Ripley was the same size as Cooper. That didn't last long, though. We were now a big happy family and everyone rejoiced.
We were growing as a family and Ripley was growing in both size and intelligence. This is an interaction from the day after we allowed Ripley and his brothers to play together for the first time. Apologies for the poor sound quality. We were also working on that. You want your brother? You want your brother? We can go get them. Even with all the professional training, enrichment activities, and time, there was still a period of feeling everything out. But Ripley was talking more. Here's your word. It felt like we were going on new adventures with Ripley every day. It was November, but in Florida, that's still warm enough for the beach. Ripley loves the beach. We learned quick that Ripley hates taking a bath after the beach, though. Ripley just grabbed a shoe. We did more than just walk. Dad just threw Ripley a piece of lettuce. Lettuce? Lettuce. Oh, Daddy's cleaning this up. I always clean it up. It's worth it for my baby to crack Ripley also saw a cat for the first time. You want to work? We can work. Did you hear that? Ripley loves to work. He also loves to shove his face in between the couch cushions. We were getting ready to celebrate Ripley's first holiday season. You want Santa? Mm. Daddy? How? Daddy, he hit though. And I, I pulled the video, he hit it with his nose. Ripley was entering his velociraptor stage. This included tearing his board apart and driving us nuts. Mom and Dad had talked about putting buttons on the wall as a solution. We added a potty button by the back door, and we noticed how easy it was for him to press it. He likes the button right there. Ah, Garrett. Now I'm like, should we get rid of this right here and mount his buttons on the wall? He likes that. Daddy. Want Daddy food? So Dad started prepping the wall with button mounting. Ripley started using them immediately after we mounted them on the wall. Ripley? Mad now? Mad now? Why? Daddy, you're outside. You want Daddy to go outside with you and you're mad because he won't? Ripley's original row of hex tiles was set when we added high, happy, and mad. We also added what in our newly added second row of hex tiles. Within a couple days, we added ball, dig, toys, and tug to the bottom row. It wasn't easy containing all the floof he was growing. Dad found use during the holidays for Ripley's hairballs. Ripley started helping us remember to close doors and keep items out of reach on the counter. Thanks, Ripley. Are you gonna do the dishes while you're there? It's raining really bad, so we're hanging out in the car. On this day, it was raining so bad we were stuck in the car for about 15 minutes. This might be the day my backyard washed away. But there was no time to worry about all that because Christmas was finally here. Everyone was having fun and Ripley got one of his favorite toys ever, Wormy. Ripley was ready for a new year. We learned that Ripley doesn't like plastic bags of any kind. They're bad for the environment. 
Ripley loved to get outside and dig in his dig pit too, which Dad built before the entire backyard became a sand pit. We added the settle, Stanley, Cooper, Ware, Ouch, and car buttons. We added a third row of hex tiles and the rubs button for Ripley. Nice move, Mr. Ripley. Toys. Toys, yes. Ball. Ball, yes. We soon added the sound and smell buttons. Here's your work. What do you want? Uh, want a tub? Okay. Can you get your tub? Tub? Ripley tub. 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 Ripley mommy. Ripley mommy play tub. I want rhythm. And it's a good exercise for me too. This was a typical morning. Just wait for it. Man, I hate that toy. We have since got rid of that toy. Ripley was calm sometimes. Other times, well, you get the point. Ripley was getting along with his brothers and getting better with his board. Um, I don't think we can dig outside right now, baby. I don't know, what do you think, Dad? Dig outside right now, I'm going out. <laughs> Daddy says, Love you. Family, family. <laughs> He also took acting classes and got a CGC certificate. Ripley started using his body to press the button shortly after he mounted it. You want your friends? You want friends soon? Thank you for hitting that one properly. There were times where it made sense and there were times where it did not. We always presume competence. Well, that last one made sense. He was showing a lot more interest in his buttons. We were starting to see him scanning the board. Sometimes he wouldn't press anything, but he was exploring them. Here Stanley and Ripley got into a little scuffle off camera. Ouch. What are you mad about? Ripley had plenty of toys and didn't like to share. We added the lake button near the end of month nine. Squirrels? What squirrels? Where? He was calling me a squirrel. Daddy? Daddy what? I didn't seem to get it. Daddy later? You don't want daddy now? We added the come button next to the rubs button on the top row. River was also added. This would become Ripley's 50th button. It was around this time that he also started to hate the vacuum cleaner. We modeled the buttons all the time. What do you want? Tell us. Even when we thought he wasn't paying attention. What do you want? What? Use your words. Mm -hmm. Ten months old. Where's the time going? Time definitely slows down out here on the river. We added frisbee and treat to the top row. That works, right? We were always trying to get the best camera angles to capture Ripley's next press. Ripley has an amazing sense of smell and great hearing. Sound? Sound what? That sound is music. And he's always ready to play. 
We played Frisbee already. Sometimes we would take the button off the wall and hold it for Ripley. We called this target training. Later. Play Frisbee later. We did Frisbee. We implemented all sorts of tactics to work with Ripley. Okay. Yes. Okay. Dad even modeled how to use his nose to press the button. Okay. Okay. Can you do that? He was about to move in on you for eating his treat. <laughs> we tried modeling his buttons in many different scenarios and he responded. Ripley? Come. Ripley, come. Wanna go to the lake? We were well on our way. Yes. Ripley. Ripley had amazing athletic abilities while his brothers cheered him on. One, two, three. Right. One, two. Ripley had a habit of destroying all his toys. An expensive habit. Ripley was starting to get good at expressing his emotions. You wanna go to the lake? Oh. We'll go to the lake in a little bit. Yeah, fun. Why are you mad? Because they don't make me chase you. We're going to wait later. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning. We're tired. Go wake up. You want me to play with you? Here. When Ripley had a friend come over for the first time, something awesome happened. Play outside. Hi. Hi. Ripley. He just hit the Ripley button. Hey, hey, hey. Christina, he just hit the Ripley button. Ripley. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Tree. You want a tree? You're very demanding. <laughs> then we had a video go viral. After the car food moment, he did this. Five seconds here, one shot. That's your water. Yeah. Sound. Yes, sound. It's a good shot, it is. We were capturing Ripley's entire life. We tried to capture more Cooper and Stanley, but they are shy. Then we added the grandma and go buttons, and this happened. Did you just press grandma? Uh huh. You can't see grandma right now. But we can text her and tell her that you want to see her. Go. Grandma. Grandma. <laughs> My heart. I'm going to go call her right now. We eventually added belly. the body buttons belly, ears, paw, belly. and teeth to yeah, the top that's row. Belly. And look at this one. Look at this one. Ah, so look, ears. This is footage of when we added these buttons to the board. We always include Ripley in on this. Ripley. Yeah. Ears. Yeah. 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 Ears. By the time he was 11 months old, we moved bath time to outside. As the humans watched the car food video go viral, Ripley had this to say. Watch this thing go from hundreds of thousands to a million. Car tree. 
He just hit car tree and I have a dumping down. Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. I knew he was going to do that. Ripley just saw his reflection in the television. No, you can't have that. He has an apple goose sauce in his mouth. Damn it. Crap, crap. You got to hold it down. You got to eat it. Me. Life was certainly interesting. As weird as it may sound, talking to Ripley was becoming pretty normal. He started using his buttons so much that I could be here all day showing you examples. You want to go outside? Stanley? Stanley hates the beach. Friends what? Want rubs. You want rubs? You want rubs? I love kisses. I don't like bites. Oh, bull We were coming up to one year with Ripley. We couldn't wait to celebrate his birthday. What would happen in season two? Let's just say Ripley would really find his voice. Are you barking at the decorations? Be continued.